بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد It's easy to command people to do good and to avoid the evil But practicing is something altogether different As we try to cross this river بإذنلاو without hopefully falling in will reflect on that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, He says, أَتَأْمُرُونَ النَّاسَ بِالْبِرِّ وَتَنْسَوْنَ أَنفُسِكُمْ وَأَنْتُمْ تَتْلُونَ الْكِتَابِ أَفَلَا تَعْكِلُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Do you command the people with good تَأْمُرُونَ النَّاسَ بِالْبِرْ With piety and righteousness وَتَنْسَوْنَ أَنفُسَكُمْ And you forget yourself أَفَلَا تَعْكِلُونَ Don't you... Uh, aren't you a thinking person? Or a person of intellect? It shows us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala equates with this aspect of hypocrisy in one's action that this the person who does this is a, not a person of, of great intellect and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many shortcomings as we all of us fall short in this and some of us more than others that we invite people to do good but yet we don't do the good ourselves. The Prophet Sallallahu said in an authentic hadith or warned us against this characteristic. This characteristic of being of that the, the, those individuals who do that, that they have a horrible punishment. The people will be surprised on the day of judgment. Saying, isn't that so-and-so used to command us to do good and forbid us to do evil in the dunya, in the, in, in the worldly life? And that's what they used to do. billah. But at the same time, they didn't implement that, that for themselves. That for themselves, they commanded or had themselves do evil. Meaning they embraced evil. And that's what they did and engaged in all kind of wicked sin. And they didn't, they didn't avoid the sin and they embraced uh, sinfulness they didn't enjoin good they didn't do good deeds and they engaged in sinfulness so this is something that I have to admonish myself about and at the same time hope that it will be an admonishment for others to reflect upon what you're you're doing at the same time we don't want to go to another extreme as the scholars illustrate for, uh, um, warn us against meaning that you involve yourself in sin so you figure that hey I'm, I'm a wicked sinner I won't enjoy any good as well I, I'll just keep silent when I see a munkar I don't think I'm going to make this make it across here so I'm going to have to try another way bi'idnillah but the person who engages in sinfulness that doesn't mean that they should avoid even speaking against sin but don't be a hypocrite at the same time you don't want to go to either extreme when you know you have sinfulness you know how you have wickedness strive to come back to Allah but when you see some evilness for example the person who drinks alcohol maybe some people some brothers and sisters are tested with drug use and abuse so they figure 
since they're getting high and they're getting drunk, and they and maybe they still pray, but they have a tendency they sneak a little something on the side. The fact that they do that does not absolve them from commanding their associates that they know to establish the prayer. So they're still responsible for prayer and also inviting others to pray. That if you so although they are doing sinfulness they should not avoid calling people to goodness and prohibiting them from evil. And this is in accordance with the Sharia. This is in accordance with the statement of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam in the hadith of Abi Sa'id al-Khudri radiyallahu ta'ala anhu who said, Sami'tu Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam yaqul I heard the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say, من راء منكم منكر فلا يغيره بيد فإن لم يستطع فبلسان فبلسانه فإن لم يستطع فبقلبه وذلك أدعف الإيمان that when one of you sees a munkar something evil then change it with his hand and if he is unable to do so then change it with his tongue. And if he is then unable to do so, then change it with his heart. And that's the weakest of Iman, letting us know that Iman has different levels. Our faith has different levels. And letting us know that along with those different levels of Iman, that changing a munkar has different levels as well. That in order for a person to command the good, they should do that in accordance with their ability. If they have strong ability to do so, then they should do so by changing it with their hand. And if they have a less, uh, lesser ability to do so, then changing it by speaking out against it. And if they still do not have the ability to do that, then they should hate it in their heart, hate that wickedness, that sinfulness in their heart. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, with Alika Adukul Iman, and that's the weakest form of faith. Letting us know all those aspects are part of Iman. All of those aspects are part in commanding the good and forbidding the evil. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, to overlook our sins and our shortcomings, protect us from kufr, shirk and nifaq and any and all forms of hypocrisy and evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.